सवेरे सवेरे यार से मिलने हद से दूर चले रुके से ना रुके हम मर्जी से चले हम बादल सा घर से हम सावन सा पर से हम सूरत सा चमके हम स्कूल चले हम स्कूल चले हम Do the children actually have this right? Now we are introducing you to the Right of Children to Free and Compulsory Education Act 2009. Education as you know is a fundamental right in India. Article 21A in 2002 states that the state shall provide free and compulsory education to all children of the age of 6 to 14 years in such manner as the state may determine by law this means right of children to free and compulsory education act 2009 and then this was enforced in as article 21a and rte act enforced with effect from 1st april 2010 it shall extend to the whole of india except the state of jammu and kashmir objectives of rte act provision of free and compulsory education of satisfactory quality to children from disadvantaged group and weaker sections is therefore not merely the responsibility of schools run or supported by the appropriate governments but also of schools which are not dependent on government schools right of children free and compulsory admission attendance completion of elementary education removal of financial barrier compulsion on government local authorities and duties of parents special provision for children with disabilities no expulsion no detention bars corporal punishment and mental harassment special provision for out of school children responsibilities of teachers the academic responsibilities of the teachers are to maintain regularity and punctuality to complete prescribed curriculum in specified time to assess learning ability of each child supplement additional instructions and hold regular meetings with parents under rte act every school needs to ensure two things infrastructure and academic support under infrastructure the school must have one classroom for every teacher barrier free access separate toilets for boys and girls drinking water facility playground boundary wall or fencing library play material and games and disabled friendly toilets and ramps for children 
with special needs as far as academics is concerned the pupil teacher ratio at primary level should be 1 is to 30 whereas at upper primary level the ptr is 1 is to 35 there should be subject teachers in upper primary there should be provision for part time instructors there is a mandate for 200 working days at primary level and 220 working days at upper primary level that means it is 45 working hours per week there should be enough supply of teaching learning material in the school curriculum and curriculum transaction which means content as well as principles these should be in confirmation to the constitutional values make child free from fear trauma and anxiety the curriculum should be child centered and child friendly based on learning through activities the instructions should be in child's mother tongue as far as practicable and there should be continuous and comprehensive evaluation it goes without saying that there should be no board examination till completion of elementary education. Protection of rights of children. Local authority is the first level of grievance redressal. Then state commissions for protection of child rights. And then national commission for protection of child's rights. Teacher qualification. Now, let us look at some frequently asked questions on RTE. Chalk is cool, the 
गेट पर तुम थोड़ा सा भी जो चले यार और गर्मी से तुमको पढ़ाएंगे टीचर है ऐसे भले है 